To write the name for Cu2S, let's first write the name of the metal, the positive ion called the cation, as it appears on the periodic table. So Cu, that's copper. Next, we'll write the name for the nonmetal, the anion or the negative ion, as it appears on the periodic table, but we're going to change the ending to IDE. So for sulfur, we're going to get rid of the UR and write IDE. So far, we have copper sulfide. Next, since copper is a transition metal, we don't know the charge on copper. We have to look at what it's bonded to to figure out its charge. Here it's bonded to the sulfur. Sulfur is 2 minus. That's its ionic charge. So copper has to be 1 plus. 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus. 2 plus and 2 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0. So we found the charge on the transition metal here by looking at the nonmetal that it's bonded to. Now, to show the charge on copper here in the name, we're going to write a Roman numeral 1 and put it in parentheses. So this is the name for Cu2S. It's copper 1 sulfide, and the 1 comes because the copper has a 1 plus ionic charge here. This is Dr. B with the formula for Cu2S. It's copper 1 sulfide. Thanks for watching.